Okay, so I have decided to put together a tutorial uh, for people on YouTube regarding setting up a secondary amp to the main amp and integrating a PC, a home theater PC that I have. Uh, I was surprised when I, I, I went to YouTube and, and, and all the stuff really only talked about um, uh, you know, using speakers to a different zone. Um, and, and they were all like 10, 12 years old. Um, I, nothing new really, uh, which was surprising since, you know, there's been a lot of technology changes, but anyways, I recently just bought the Onkyo amp, just installed it a couple days ago. Uh, I owned a Pioneer 9.2 system that was 10 years old. Um, Personally, I'm not certain what all the hype was about the Onkyo uh, RZ50, but because my other system sounded pretty darn good, um, and this one doesn't really sound that much better, but uh, uh, but I needed to replace the Pioneer because the uh, main amp, the main power supply in the uh, amp was uh, was was starting to go out. It was um, <clears throat> not turning on sometimes, and then and then it would turn on. So um, anyways, this is a 9.2. I have uh, the nine speakers with the uh, two subwoofers. This is a, another amp that I have also in the same entertainment center. Uh, it's an old uh, Yamaha amp that I've had for a very long time. Um, and it currently powers speakers that are in my formal living room. And then through here, it powers the outside backyard speakers. Um, it also has an HDMI out that goes to uh, a TV on the back of the house uh, for when I have Seahawk games. So that way I can actually play the game over the outside speakers and in the living room uh, ceiling speakers and be able to view the TV, the game on the TV that uh, goes uh, comes out of here. Um, and I have an HDMI cable that goes down in the crawl space and out to uh, uh, the backyard wall or the backyard house wall. Anyways, so that's my setup. And then in here is my family room, which has, you know, it hooks up to a 4K TV and it powers 11 speakers. And then also in the entertainment center, I also have a, a home theater PC, um, small form factor HP. Um, now, I recently, yesterday, bought an RTX 3050 HDMI 2.1 video card. Um, the, the RTX 30, 30 series and 40 series uh, has the latest HDMI 2.1 specs. So I went ahead and bought that because trying to use Netflix through my PC, it was not coming up with Ultra HD uh uh, logo nor was it coming up with Atmos logo um, because apparently it can detect the device it's connected to so uh, so I went ahead and upgraded I had a currently had a GT1 1060 in there and I'm not certain what HDMI probably 2.0 because um, it wasn't that old but uh, uh, but Netflix was not seeing it so it wasn't giving me the option to, it wasn't actually being able to play uh, uh, Dolby Atmos. It wasn't showing up when you looked at the movie information. Uh, after I put the RTX 3050 in there, now I, I see it. It shows up on Netflix. So anyways, um, so I do have an RTX 3050. And um, so that's my setup. The reason why I'm putting this together is because, man, I spent the entire day yesterday trying to figure out how to get this to work, uh, trying different things. And HDMI and I I was able to uh, on my Pioneer I was simply able to go HDMI out to an HDMI port in the back of it and then through this uh, sub zone or the secondary HDMI out on the Pioneer go to the HDMI in and then that would power these speakers but it looks like the latest HDCP 2.3 must make it difficult for that to happen. So it, I could not get the, this setup to work that way. It wouldn't work. Um, so I was trying to figure out a workaround. 
Well, I did find uh, two ways of doing it that I want to share with you. Okay, so the other way and the way that I'm going to be using this will be this way. Um, and this took a lot of trying to figure things out. It wasn't working. Definitely didn't work the way that the Pioneer worked, probably because of the uh, copyright protection, the 2.3 version that's making things more difficult. Um, but this is one of the, this is the way uh, I was able to get it to work. Now, reading the manuals and definitely got no help off of, uh, off of YouTube. Um, I'm just not certain why it was so difficult. I wasn't picking it up out of the manual, but maybe it's in there. But if not, here, here, follow this. PC. Now this one has the RTX 3050 HDMI 2.1 video card in there, HDMI, HDMI card. I just installed that. I just bought it, uh, uh, installed it yesterday. Um, and this setup does work. Now I don't know if it, I may end up putting in my old one and seeing if this setup works on the old one now that I'm familiar with how to hook it up and program everything. Um, but for now, um, at least with this setup, uh, I've got this um, uh, card, HDMI to HDMI. I am going into port number three on the back of the Onkyo receiver. Now, according to the manual, it says that um, if you are going to do something out of zone two, that it has to be on port one, two, or three. I thought I was actually working through this, but as it turns out, I'm not working through this at all, so I'm not even using that. Um, but I am using this. This PC is hooked up to port three, which has uh, cable slash satellite. Now, I've renamed it as PC. I've remapped the PC over to here uh, because it's, these have a higher uh, bandwidth, the first three do. So um, so in my case, and when I show you the video of actually doing it downstairs, uh, it'll I'll be pressing PC. But in your case, you'll probably press the uh, CBL button when you go to program it over here. Okay, so HDMI to the input, in my case, input three. And we're still going to use the RCA to RCA cable. So we're still going to go zone two out RCA to CD in on this uh, secondary receiver. Um, the things that you want to do once, so the wiring is pretty simple um, and it's real similar to the other one. The only, the only difference is, is if you're going to go to the headphone jack, you will put it to a in audio input. Uh, if you're going to come out of an HDMI, you're going to plug into a HDMI input. Um, once you've got these two cables installed, um, you want to change your, make sure that your um, uh, sound setting in, in Windows 10 is, um, is defaulted for your NVIDIA card or, or uh, video card, whatever it may be, which I do. Um, I have a Dolby Atmos uh, set up, so it defaults to Dolby Atmos, but it will change automatically to stereo once you do the reprogramming. I was having a hard time, you know, doing having it set up this way and then playing something and then changing the uh, the setup programming in, in the Onkyo and then it would do some weird stuff and sometimes didn't work. But I found that um, that if you do the setup first before you start playing anything, um, then it'll automatically switch your PC uh, video card and sound card to stereo, which is nice. I just learned that actually today as I'm going through this to put this video together. So the other thing that we're going to be using is zone two. So there's a zone two, zone three, and off button right here. Okay. So this is what we'll be using. Um, so the steps to do it are leave your PC defaulted to your video card. Okay. Step one. Step two, come over here and change and press the zone two and then press the CBL button if you are connected to port number three, CBL. In my case, 
when I show it to you, I'm going to be pressing the PC button because I remapped the PC to zone to the third over here. So, um, so once you set the source, you hit zone three, and then it's going to want a source. Hit the source, which would be which one of these. So you'll press CBL button. That'll be your source. Now, it is programmed so that zone two is going to output the audio from this um this this port this uh this this hdmi port okay so um change your zone to program it so zone two and then hit cbl if that's where your program if that's where your uh where you hook where this is hooked up to number three go into setup and in the input output assign and turn on zone two turn it to use okay so this is where you're going to hit the, the settings button on your remote control. Go to the first one, which is input output assignment. And then in there, uh, just scroll down to a zone two and say in use. And when you do that uh, and you come back to, to this, so just take that off and then go ahead and Once you hit, once you program this to zone two, it'll automatically change this from my case, Dolby Atmos, it automatically changed it to stereo. So it definitely does something. It communicates through the HDMI cable to back to the card. So uh, anyways, so that would be step three. And then step four is switch the input on your secondary amp to the audio input you're using. In my case, I have it set for CD. Okay. So now sound comes in, out of the HDMI, it goes into port three of the HDMI input. And then because I've changed the zone two to be that input, and I've changed the setup to enable, or to say use zone two right here to use. Now it's gonna take the audio from here, map it, it'll redirect it out of here and then from here through the RCA to RCA cable, puts it into the CD input. And because this amp is turned to CD, uh, it will play everything. And once again, I get all 11 speakers working in my family room. I have the speakers in the formal living room and the outside backyard speakers working. Um, and so all and they can individually be adjusted. So I can turn this up and down for the family room. I can turn this up and down for the living room and the outside speakers. Now, obviously, if you want to crank the living room speakers, you know, unless you have volume controls on these, yeah, it's going to end up, you know, well, if you have this set up, it will end up adjusting the speakers uh, volume for the outside speakers. But in my case, I actually have volume controls on the wall uh, in the living room and I've got a volume control on the wall uh, by the uh, by this back slider that controls the volume here in here and the speaker volume in here is controlled by the amp of course you could control the the master volume control can be also controlled by the PC so there you go there we go that's that's it I, I hope this helps you I know I spent over a day trying to figure this thing out and uh, and get it to work. So I just found that I'm, I was gonna present it this way because I don't wanna rip out my amps and everything. They're all hooked up and, and turn them around and do stuff like that. I mean, this seems like it will serve just fine. I will go ahead and go downstairs and just do a quick uh, video on uh, the actual button pushing on the remote and okay. stuff. This is the supplemental video for hooking it up to a HDMI port on your PC's video card. So here is a GT1030 that I had in there previously, has a HDMI uh, port on the back. I upgraded to the RTX 3050 so that I can uh, have the latest H HDMI 2.1 and be able to stream um, UHD and Atmos from Netflix and and Prime on my PC. I could do it on the uh, PC on the uh, TV as well, but uh, I think it might be better quality if it's going through the PC. So 
on the back, so this setup is me plugging in an HDMI cable on the back of this home theater PC that I have right here. And it routes to uh, HDMI input on the Onkyo receiver, as I showed you earlier. I'm hooked up to the cable SAT port 3, and but I've remapped it as a, a PC. I've renamed it PC. So, uh, so I'm not going to go over the wiring on it, um, but it comes from HDMI to HDMI in there. And then we have an RCA on zone 2 back on the back of the Onkyo. RCA to RCA, so RCA zone 2 out to RCA uh, 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 CD input on the Yamaha amp, okay? Uh, so, to program this, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your, uh, and make sure, in the previous example, we set it to the PC speaker out because we were using the, um, the headphone jack, but I need to move it up to here and set that as the default. So now my Onkyo, the NVIDIA card is the default. And you can hear it's already got music coming through now. Uh, let's see here. You might take a look up here. Okay. Yeah, see it's still set for my home, uh, Dolby Atmos for home. So that needs to get changed to stereo. So I'm going to change it here to stereo. Now, if if you don't change it to stereo, uh, then it will try to change it, but I've had some problems with that. Uh, especially, it seems to be if you're playing music and then you do it on the programming of the Onkyo, it, it, it makes weird noises, it doesn't make the handshake. So you can either do it here by right clicking on here and then change sounds. Oh, excuse me. Right click here, change speaker setup and change it to stereo from your 7.1 or your 5.1 or whatever. In my case, the Dolby Atmos. So, okay. So that's been done. Now, it will automatic, what I found is it, it will automatically do it as long as you're not playing a music source. So I'm just going to exit out of any music sources that I have playing. I don't know if that was not playing, but it's, it was active. Because I found that if you go into programming, it will automatically switch it from Dolby Atmos to stereo. So Because it must communicate through the HDMI cable back to the NVIDIA card. And so anyways... Um, so what I'm going to do is uh, show you the steps on getting this set up. Uh, I went down and I pressed uh, zone, th zone 2 and select what HDMI port you're plugged into. In my case, I'm going to press PC, but that's actually, uh, I have it remapped, that's actually cable CBL button on the back. Uh, but it's I just renamed it PC. So, anyways, so it says I so it says computer, but I'm using the PC. I I remapped the PC HDMI over to number three. Uh, so, anyways, whatever you have your HDMI cable from the PC plugged into, hit zone plus that input. Now, we also want to go in, and this is where it's different from the other headphone jack example. You want to go in to your settings on your Onkyo. And you want to hit output assign, TV out, and come down here to zone 2 HDMI. We're not doing analog RCA now. We need to tell it to output the HDMI stuff to that zone. So I'm going to click, right click and say use. And then I'm going to hit back and then back, and then back. So two things you need to do on the Onkyo. You need to set the source to the HDMI port that you're plugged into, as well as go into your programming on the HDMI input-output and specify that you're um, going to use Zone 2 uh, output to, H uh, to output the HDMI source. Now, this should work. So I am going to go ahead and play a song.
and that sounds good. I can hear it in the in the formal living room. And let's see what happens when I turn the volume up on the amp here. Voila! So this is independently, so I can adjust. The Onkyo is playing the speakers in here. The Yamaha is playing the speakers in the other room and outside. So I can adjust that volume right here. But I also have uh, attenuators or volume controls um, in the formal living room as well as I have one here for the outside speakers. So there you go. That's it. Oh, the other thing too. That works. Is Spotify also works with this setup. All right, so there you go. Okay, one more note on on this HDMI, using the HDMI cable coming out of the PC uh, to feed music. Um, there's the HDMI main and then sub and main plus sub, but that doesn't seem to work with hooking up with another amp that was my biggest problem it worked fine on my old pioneer uh, uh my 10 year old pioneer was hooked up that way and i was able to use this something similar to this but i could not get it to work um on the onkyo and it probably is because of the latest encryption now but uh but the using the main and the and this main and main sub main plus sub and sub apparently only works when you hook up a TV to the HDMI uh, uh, output, the secondary output on the back of the Onkyo amp. It only apparently works with a TV. Um, I did hook up another TV using the HDMI sub output on the back and it worked fine, it does. It powered my, my TV. It also put sound and video to the other TV. But as soon as I hook it up to an amplifier, this old Yamaha amp, nope, wouldn't work. I couldn't get it to work. So that's where a lot of my time was wasted trying to go that avenue before I've tried a, just a bunch of different stuff and ended up with this setup, which is adequate and it works.